Hello, Options and Traders Network. I'm going to give you guys a report and update on the portfolio that we have here from Volux Capital. And that way you can, you can see how the startups are doing for everything that we've invested in. I'm going to make other videos on you know, why we invested in those deals. But if you have invested alongside us, or if you have uh, looked at any of the investments that we have on our portfolio, these are how those investments are doing. So I'm going to begin with the first investment uh, called Charger. That was one of the very first investments that our fund did invest in. And so what Charger does is they make a uh, credit card sized portable battery phone charger. And on the other side of the phone charger, there's a NFC scanner. Uh, and then you can use that to basically scan a QR code and you can look at you know, a specific website or a specific product that's being marketed. So the battery works as a battery for the end user. And on the other side, it's pretty much an advertisement. So it basically converts a utility into a portable advertisement for businesses. So Charger was dramatically affected by COVID-19. They did cease their operations for a little bit just because they mainly focus on live venues. So it could be live music or live events. So there's one thing that they did really, really good during this time. And that was because they weren't able to make sales for their product. They pivoted to a point where they're able to maintain operating costs and make a little bit of revenue by becoming a brokerage for PPE, which is personal protective equipment and medical devices during COVID. And recently in 2021, they did renew their CNN contract. So CNN, the network that you see on CNN.com, the news network that is uh, the company that they renewed a contract with. And they should be able to start back up as everything begins opening back up now that COVID is starting to die down and the cases are drastically less. The investment in GoFi has been doing very, very well. We're very happy about that. GoFi basically upgraded their insulation cups. So they created a new version of insulation cups and those cups are, they're much better as far as keeping things warm for a longer time. They've added three new coffee brands to their merchandising. So if you have followed GoFi, they are essentially having uh, roboticized coffee brewed drinks. The big thing that they did in this past quarter was they expanded into apartments in New York. So their current model or previous model that they had was basically they're going to target office buildings where multiple businesses are operating out of and they're going to have a membership uh, service where you're able to pay a monthly fee and pay you know x amount of dollars and all your employees are able to get coffee that's specially brewed to their specific liking they've expanded that service or they expanded that service into apartment complexes so a lot of these luxury apartments in new york will begin getting this service and as a person who works from home they're able to get special coffee delivered to their complex without having to go out and get it. And also, GoFi has signed up for Start Engine Trading. So Start Engine is another company that we did invest in. And with Start Engine, they're essentially creating the first New York stock exchange specifically for startups. Veriglyph, they're creating a data ecosystem to drive advertising by allowing the users to control who, what, and where their data gets sent. Uh, they have been getting a lot more traction. They, they've signed uh, another partnership through their distribution, and they are generating revenue. Jet Token is a, another investment that we're proud to have. Jet Token um, is a blockchain type service to help automate and secure the privacy for private jet flying. And so recently they purchased a few Honda jets 
and we're really happy about their new raise. So we got in at a lower valuation of about 46 million, and now they're raising at 124 million valuation. So that's, that's essentially 3x on paper. Our investment in BrewDog has been doing very well. There are a lot more products being produced by BrewDog. And BrewDog itself is kind of this radical uh, Scottish hotel slash craft beer. And so they make anything from, you know, bacon beer to ginger beer with licorice. They, it, they really do a lot of radical, uh, think, punk IPAs. Edley's been doing very well. They're helping the best students fund their college tuition. And so essentially they have a thing called an income share agreement, which is an ISA. And the way it works is if you're a top student, you can accept an investment from an investor who invests in your education. And they would sign a contract, with the, which is called the income share agreement. And with the income share agreement, uh, the investor will basically get a percentage of your income after you've graduated uh, for X amount of years until they collect their initial principal and, and get a return on investment. So at least creating a marketplace to do that and they're, they're doing very well as far as generating more traction. Dragonfly has definitely picked up a lot of news recently, but the, the main thing that really stands out in this update is going to be they signed a partnership with the Steve Wozniak K-12 through program. So they'll begin teaching uh, younger kids and younger generations to learn about drones and become drone pilots and learn about fixing drones. So drones from Dragon, Dragonfly's standpoint is going to be the future for data collection. And so as you teach these children from a young age, it's going to drastically increase the amount of uh, people that are more aware of drones and the technology that will be in the future. Our investment in Shackleford is doing very well. Uh, once again, we did invest in Shackleford. Uh, we haven't gotten any major updates yet, but a little background about Shackleford is Dr. Dr. Alan Shackleford, he has had 25,000 case studies. And basically what he's doing is he's administering a standardized dose of CBD and THC to treat orphan drugs. So they have a, quite a few orphan drugs in their pipeline. And because they're orphan drugs, you get a fast track to producing these drugs. So FDA approval on them will be much more rapid than, than any other type of FDA approval. So if, if he can commit to one of these orphan drugs, these orphan drugs can be very, very lucrative. I mean, you're looking anywhere from uh, orphan drug FDA approval for, you know, it, it can be anywhere between 500 million to a couple of billion dollars, depending on who actually uses the product as far as licensing. But if you're unfamiliar with orphan drugs, orphan drugs are pretty much drugs that not a lot of people have, almost considered like rare diseases. And so they typically get a lot more backing as far as being fast-tracked by the FDA. Inamed is our investment in a painless uh, bandage-like needle or, or microneedle project product. And basically what they do is you put a patch on your arm and you, you can push the button down and the button uses microneedles to draw your blood and it's painless. Then with the micro, uh, the micro draw, you can plug it into your Inamed product or or system, and it'll give you a direct blood analysis, which can be transferred directly via teledoc or you know any type of uh, you know medical doctor who's working within the platform, and they'll be able to see your diagnosis right away. They, they currently signed a multi-year pharmaceutical collaboration, and so we're really excited to see which pharmaceutical companies uh, will be released under that collaboration. Inamed has had a 600% year-over-year growth, and they're doing about $1.4 million in revenue. So since 2017, uh, they are generating revenue now, and, and they are growing very, very rapidly. Simple Showing is an investment 
uh, that we have for essentially letting people tour homes without an agent and letting people purchase homes without having that agent fee. And the really unique thing about Simple Showing is if you book a tour and you purchase a house through Simple Showing, they give you kind of like a rebate where you get cash back for, for purchasing a home. So as of right now, they are still patent pending and they have about $100,000 in revenue. They have a user growth of 140%, which translates to about a 41% CAGR. Liquid Piston, our rotary engine, uh, not quite the Wankel engine, but a newer type of engine with three sets of apexes where compression and, and uh, combustion all is a lot more equally balanced. Ha they have produced a hydrogen powered go-kart and it's the first, uh, first time they've ever ran hydrogen. So typically uh, the initial product that they launched or project that they launched was to test gasoline, JPA and diesel and now they've tested hydrogen. So they have a lot of different applications that the Rotary X engine can run on. And once again, you know, the main reason that it's important is because the Rotary X engine that they, that they did make is scalable. They can produce about one horsepower per pound. So on larger applications, uh, if they're able to run on hydrogen, that's very significant. Investment in liquid, that was our investment in liquid piston. So our next investment that we have is in Legion. The valuation of Legion in this past quarter has increased by 20%. So initially the valuation per share was about $2.50. Now it's about $3. And the warrant price also increased uh, linearly, so 20% as well. Legion recently acquired HelloBar. And within HelloBar, they launched HelloMail. And so if you think about MailChimp, basically they acquire leads for a mailing service, and then now you can actually email your leads through the same platform. Legion also acquired OnboardFlow, and OnboardFlow is helping generate inbound organic leads, and this helps with the inbound sales process, and they're working specifically on an outbound sales process. And so because of their staffing position or staffing predicament, they're not able to work on their third project, which they currently are building, which is called Better Loop. And so Better Loop is on hold just because of the amount of uh, dedicated engineers and designers that are working specifically on HelloBar and Onboard Flow. Investment in Kingmakers Ops is doing very well. Uh, they have a system where they're going to acquire and systemize residential home services. So think HVAC, uh, plumbing, roofing, and, and services like that. They have made two acquisitions where they are already making profit. They used an SBA loan to acquire these companies. And as they have acquired these companies, they're making enough money to pay the loan back and making a little bit more. So they are already profitable on their purchases. Lengro is another company that we did invest in. Uh, they created a marketplace which allows lenders and, and people looking for money to borrow to see the best rates. So it's essentially a marketplace to connect uh, people who need money and lenders. 